Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, as you can see, I have a huge, huge order of model kits that just showed up today. Lots and lots and lots of uh, armor kits. And in fact, as you can see here, we've got the new Trumpeter Tiger with Zimmeret, which I'm really anxious to take a look inside this one, as well as the new Hobby Boss right next door over there uh, with Zimmeret as well. And now, as you guys might know, Hobby Boss and Trumpeter are related companies. And the way they've done the Zimmeret is very, very unusual. And actually, I'm kind of excited to uh, take a look at it and show you guys as well. And the best part of all is both of these kits are under $50. So great, great to see that. We also have some, a new company called Revosis. Uh, they have this new prototype tiger, and we're going to show you all these a little bit more in depth, but I just thought I'd point out a few of the, uh, the main things. And then, of course, you can see we have our giant order of TACOM, and these are all the original three that were uh, been, been announced for a while now, but these all have the full interiors. And, and speaking of the, uh, the TACOM full interior panther, I do intend on finishing it, and I'm probably going to start it up very, very soon here. Uh, there's just a lot of other things happening right now I had to take care of first with other models and other things. And, and there was just so many parts inside of it, I wanted to take a little break, especially after building the Ryefield model kit. But as you can see, and maybe you can't actually see, that this piles actually go all the way to just about the ceiling in my store here. I was just unboxing everything and thought I would show you guys. Plus, we have... This also came in the mail too. This just came in from Tamiya. This is a reboxing of their Leclerc Series 2 kit, which I'm anxious to take a look inside and see if they did anything new to change that one up. That just came in uh, from Tamiya USA. I want to thank them for getting us out an early copy on that. Plus, we have new King Tigers from Tacom. We have some new Russian armor, which I'll show you over there, and some new kits from Panda. So uh, I've been running around for the last hour getting all this stuff unboxed and checked off and sweating because it's warm in Arizona. It's going to be 100 degrees here today. So even with the air on, I'm still running around like a maniac. But I'm really excited about all this stuff and I want to show you. And we're going to take apart a bunch of these kits right now and show you the inside. So let's get started on it. Wait a minute. Uh, this is a special note for all of my local customers just to let you know. All of this stuff is available for sale right now, so as soon as you see this video, come on down and uh, we, as you can see, we got lots and lots of kits to choose from. Plus, this is for everybody else too, I also have another order coming in tomorrow with some uh, new Ming and a few other companies that we'll do another video on and break apart some of the new kits, including the uh, Merkava Mark IV with the trophy system. Those will all be in tomorrow as well, so lots and lots to coming in. Okay, I've got everything put away now, so what I'm going to do real fast is I'm just going to show you each one of the new kits that come out, just the box, and tell you what it is. And this will just take a couple of minutes, and then we're going to actually tear into the kits that you guys don't know about already, and take a look inside. So, like I was telling you earlier, first of all, the Tacom Panthers are all out. So this one is the late production Panther with full interior. And this is the Tacom Panther mid-early production with full interior. And finally we have the Panther early with full interior. Now all of these kits uh, retail in the United States for about $70 and uh, obviously we sell them for less here in the store, but uh, all three of these are available right now. And you've already started to see me build those so we won't tear inside those because they're all pretty much the same. Just minor variations in the uh, the upper hull and a few other little minor things. Then this is the the box for big box for the Porsche version of the King Tiger from Hobby Boss with Zimmerit. And this is the box for the Trumpeter Tiger with Zimmerit in 35th scale. All these are 35th scale. And this kit right here, the Hobby Boss one, retails for $50 in the United States. And the Tiger. It retails a little more than that, but we're selling them for under $50, both of these kits. So I'll have to look up what the, uh, the Tigers, Zim Tigers retail is. And then Tacom has come out with another initial production K-1 
King Tiger. Now this one does not have Zimmerit in it. It is a uh, non-interior kit, so it's just the exterior of the vehicle without Zimmerit on it. And then this is the one airplane that came in with the collection or the uh, the bunch. This is the new F-106B from Trumpeter in 72nd scale. And this is now this is Revosis, and what Revosis is is basically Rifle model. I don't know if they're changing the entire company to Revosis or what, but on my list when it comes into me, it's under the heading Rifle model. So now this is the Panzer uh, Six. It's basically the initial Tiger, what they originally planned on having it look like. It kind of has kind of a Panther looking turret with a, uh, well, just a kind of a different hull all the way around. Now this particular kit does have a full interior and this one retails for about just under $80. And here is the, the new Leclerc Series 2. And after doing some research, I looked inside this kit and inspected all the sprues and looked up much I can on it. Initially, when this kit came out in 2005, so it's, it's a relatively new kit, they were including uh, die-cast road wheels for this vehicle. Now, what to me has done is, I've noticed, they've gone back and retooled the, uh, the road wheels in plastic now. The rest of the kit is all still the 2005 edition, which is beautiful. It's an absolutely gorgeous kit and actually didn't need to be changed at all. Other than, I guess it was probably easier just to keep putting these out with the plastic wheels. Because honestly, I haven't been able to get this kit for a long, long time. And I don't know if it's because of the die cast was more, you know, uh, difficult to build or make or fabricate whatever on that but uh, it is going to be available again and it looks like it's going to be regular production so it's just going to have the only difference is the road wheels are plastic instead of metal like the old one and then we've got a couple of trumpeter russian vehicles and this is the russian bmot specialized heavy army armored personnel carrier that's kind of a cool looking vehicle this one's got a retail in the united states of about ninety dollars I'm running out of room in my pile here. Then this is the uh, the other new one. From this is a Russian armored mine clearing vehicle, a BMR three. This is just coming out. This too has a retail of about ninety dollars. Now. I'm giving you just the retails, obviously, on all of these kits, and that's strictly because that's what they come on the invoice. You're going to be easily be able to find all of these for less, including my store. We sell them for far less than what the original retail is. But just to give you an idea, and you, if you're in another country, you can kind of get an idea what it's going to be in your country. And finally, we have a couple of kits from Panda. And we have another MRAP, uh, an MATV, an M1240A1 armored personnel vehicle and then also the Buffalo A2 MPCV mine protected vehicle both of these kits right here retail for about sixty dollars in the United States from uh, Panda kinda surprised at the size of this box too because the Buffalo is a pretty large vehicle and this isn't and you can see they're virtually the same size box so it's a little different and finally the last kit that's uh, new, which you guys have already watched me build the Merkava 1, uh, the hybrid. This is the Merkava 2B. So this is the next line, next one in the line of uh, Merkava vehicles. But these were a really, really great kit to put together. Really enjoyed that. If you haven't watched it already, I've got a video on the hybrid, which most of these are going to be very, very similar. There's going to be differences as they went forward, but uh, very nice kit. Okay, so now that you've seen all the new stuff that is actually out right now, let's tear into a few of these. Okay, the first kit we're going to look at is the new Trumpeter 35th scale Tiger late production with Zimmerit. And first thing we're going to look at is the hull. It is a bathtub style hull. And if we can zoom in close enough here, even the, the bottom has a really nice roll texture uh, surface to it. And that goes right up into the, uh, the front plates. The, the, uh, the sides are going to get covered with Zimmerit, so won't worry about that. The, the top, once again, too, they did some nice texturing on any of the cast metal pieces. And everything else looks pretty good. I'm going to just pull out all the parts. I'll take some pictures afterwards and let you see individual pictures of the, uh, of the parts. The tracks are your basic uh, link tracks, or, yeah, link tracks that you're going to have to cut out. There is going to be some cleanup because of all the little... Uh, little connection points but those should build up fine enough and when we get to the turret there's actually two turrets inside here and I think it's because of one might have the Zimmerit 
and one might not. And the reason I say that is because there's some pictures in there, which I'll show you at the end, of the different variants you can make. And one of them is a uh, variant that is after the war that the, uh, the French were using. But uh, this has got some nice texture already on it. So maybe this one would be the after the war one, and this one will be the one that we attach the, uh, the Zimmerit plate to. And I know I keep saying attach the Zimmerit plate to, and that's because this is the Zimmerit. And it's kind of an unusual, brilliant design if it works out properly. What they've basically done is they've molded some sheets of plastic that are pre-done with, uh, you can see how thin they are, with Zimmerit pattern already cut into it. And then they put this on a die cutting machine and that they just die cut out all the pieces that they need that you'll be able to just cut out the last little portion and then glue it. It's ultra, ultra thin. Uh, it's got some nice depth and character to the Zimmerit. It is very uniform. I know we're going to hear some people complain about that, but hey, it's, uh, it is 35th scale modeling. You can, you can probably take this and cut this up and chip it pretty well. But uh, actually, this is a, a pretty clever way of doing the Zimmerit with that if you can make a, a kit that if you don't want to have Zimmerit, or you do, this is actually not too bad. And uh, I think we'll have to build this one up and see how this Zimmerit actually works. But just basing it on this, you can see how well you'll be able to curve it to go around like the, uh, the turret, things like that. The uh, mantlet here is Zimmerited already. It already has Zimmerit on it, so you don't have to worry about putting all that really difficult Zimmerit on. Uh, these were the instructions I was telling you about. Might as well just quickly show them to you. You can see there's quite a few different, sorry about the glare on it there, quite a few different variants. Plus, there's even an additional page. This is the one I was telling you about, the one that's like after the war, late 45. And then the big set of instructions. There is another mantlet inside, as well as the rest of the pieces with, uh, without Zimmerit. And some really nice detail on this kit, including the rolled textured on the side piece too. So I guess if you either put the Zimmerit on or you don't, but you will be attaching a separate piece onto the side of the hull. And here is our barrel. Two-piece barrel, unfortunate about that, because uh, I'd probably use an R&B barrel one just because I hate sanding out that seam on there. The uh, tow cables, the track cables, all that stuff look pretty pretty nicely molded. You got your turret basket. We've got all of our road wheels, and you guys know about Tigers. They got tons and tons of road wheels you have to build, but uh, they look pretty good. Here is your uh, your rear rear plate, as well as the top of the turret, the gearbox, final drive cut housings. Things like that, and actually, I'm very, very impressed with the uh, the look of everything. The uh, rolled steel looks pretty good on that. And finally, there's just a couple other sprues, and I have to also compliment Trumpeter too on this. The way they package this, all of these sprues, these are the ones that have the uh, suspension arms on it. All of this came wrapped in a uh, a foam protector to keep anything from you know tangling up and getting messed up on it. So you get a couple of those. And you also get photo etch, the photo etch for the grills, and a little sheet of decals, but there wasn't a lot of markings on those vehicles anyway, so this is enough to do probably, I think, five different vehicles they give you the option in there. So very, very impressed with this kit, and especially under $50, guys. Where are you going to find find that? Especially with some of the Dragon kits now. The Dragon kits are all... They, well, last time I saw the retails were all in the, the upper 90s for it. So for $50 or less, this is a pretty nice looking kit. And like I was saying, I'm very impressed with that kit. So I actually will be building this kit up. I can't promise exactly when this video will come out for the build, but the kit doesn't look super difficult, so I think it's something that we can build fairly quickly and easily, and we can really get a chance to try out all that new Zimmerit.
Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the Hobby Boss 35th scale King Tiger Porsche turret with Zimmerit. And the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the turret. And I'm pretty, pretty amazed if you take a look at the turret here, this is molded as one piece, including the front here, which means that there was some kind of slide mold that popped in and out, but all of this is molded as one piece. And I don't know if you guys are familiar or not with it, but the, the term Porsche turret is completely inaccurate. Uh, the first 50, and actually all the turrets thereafter, were all built and designed by the Krupp company. And Krupp designed these first 50 or so. They were going to be mated to the actual Porsche uh, bottom portion, the hull of the vehicle. Now those never came to fruition and all of them were end up being made by Henschel. But the very first 50 came out because they had this some different shape to it. The German army requested that they be changed more to the production variety. And that was mainly because A, it has this, this curved front right here, which unfortunately is a shot trap a lot of times. That if a round hits right here in the bottom, it can ricochet down and go right into the body of it. Plus, also this bulge on the side here for the uh, for the mat for the mantlet for the uh, cupola. Excuse me. Uh, this was a lot, a lot of work in manufacturing making this right here, as opposed to the just the slab size that the uh, production turret would have. So, like I said, it is kind of inaccurate to call it a a Porsche turret. It they were all designed by Krupp. And in fact, they were said that you could actually take these off and with a few modifications could actually fit on a regular production turreted uh, King Tiger as well. But very nice looking uh, turret for it. And quickly, we're just going to go through these real fast. Once again, because Trumpeter and Hobby Boss are sister companies, they're doing the exact same thing. So it's the same piece of Zimmerit coating. And they've just stamped out all of the, uh, the different pieces for the King Tiger. And we'll kind of go just quickly through some of the sprues here. One thing I'm kind of amazed by is this kit has a lot more parts than the uh, the Tiger that Trumpeter came out with. But this is actually a less expensive kit. In fact, you know, you have torsion bars in here and a few other parts that you don't have on the Tiger. But this one is retails for under $50. So quite a good value looking at all the different parts. And here are, you know, some of the uh, drive sprockets, some of the exhaust mufflers, uh, more road wheel sprues, some of the parts for the final drive. You got your tow cables, your track cables, uh, this ring right around here, which I'm assuming is obviously for the turret ring. You've got, this is a, unusual too. Now this is a two part barrel. The barrel is actually not on the same sprues. It's on two different sprues. And uh, you also have your lower portion of your turret here. And get through some of these other parts here. Here is the other part of the barrel. You can see it's on a completely different type of uh, a sprue on it. And then we have our engine deck, which same thing as the, uh, the Tiger that we just showed you has a lot of cast uh, markings on it. We've got our side skirts and our rear plate here, but all of this is designed to take the Zimmerit right over top of it. The, the tracks, here are the tracks, and they're individual uh, tracks. The guide horns are separate, which means that's gonna be a little bit of extra work for you right there. It's not obviously a ton of extra work, but it is extra work after all. And if I build this kit, I will probably go ahead and put Fruel model tracks on. I actually have a set of these ready to go, so I would probably use those. And then we'll look at the uh, the upper part of the hull here. Very nice uh, cast, or excuse me, roll texture on here. Same thing on the side. And bathtub style hull. And here's a few of the parts too. They did give you Zimmerit coating already on a few of these parts. So that would obviously be a bear to try to cut out and put those little parts on. So I'm glad they molded those on, as well as the machine gun for the ball for the uh, the hull. And these last little parts I just left in the bag rather than cut them out. These are just some uh, MG34s that they give you, one for the inside and then one for the, the turret ring. And, and here are the clear parts for the periscopes. They give you those at, and the headlights, separate parts for that. And they also give you a nice two sheets of photo etch and a set of decals with all different types of numbers on it, including some really large numbers for the side there. 
So all in all, it looks like it's a, a very, very nice kit, uh, and especially for the price. That's, oop, as it all comes tumbling back into frame. Yeah, it's a very, very nice looking kit, and uh, looks like a, a pretty nice looking build. I was just taking a quick look at the uh, the TACOM, and if you notice on the box cover here, it is called the initial production now. It's no longer called the Porsche version. And I just opened up just a couple of the bags inside the kit here, and as you can see, and the reason I only, I'm only going to just show it quickly is because this is this is the same basic parts that I built in that complete build of the Tacom King Tiger. The only difference is this one doesn't have an interior, and this is the initial production turret. And as you can see here, they did the same thing. They've got the front plate mounted into place, but they don't have the roof already in a place on it. But still, some very, very nice looking uh, detail. One thing I have to say is I do like Tacom's tracks a little bit better here, and that is because... You can see the way they come off right here, and those actually came off pretty easily, and the guide horns are already part of the uh, the track, so that, that would make it a little easier. But the rest of the kit is pretty much the same as the King Tiger build I built uh, about a year and a half ago. And finally, for the Leclerc, what I thought I would do is the inside parts are the same as the regular kit. It came out in 2005, like I said earlier, so you got the rubber band tracks. Very, very simple design big giant bathtub style hull. This bag right here represents the only new parts in this kit that you do get uh, plastic road wheels now. And just real fast, I'm gonna crack open one of these Panda kits too, just to kind of give you an idea what's included inside those. Now, as you can see, this is a huge vehicle in real life. That's why I was kind of uh, surprised that the, the box was so small. But it looks like Panda has compressed the amount of kit parts that some of their earlier kits had a lot, a lot of parts to them. Whereas this, and I'm not going to pull all this out of the bags right now. I'm just going to kind of give you a general idea. So we've got three, four, five sprues total. A nice sheet of uh, photo etch rubber tires as well as some clear parts which make up all the bulletproof glass around there. So this for the, for, uh, for such a large vehicle too. This looks like actually a pretty nice looking kit. I didn't get many of these in, so I didn't want to break the bag open right here because I don't plan on building one of these right away, or if at all, and don't like to try to sell kits that are already out of the shrink wrap. But uh, looks like it's a pretty nice looking kit, and for the price, it's uh, way cheaper than some of the other ones that are already on the market from like Bronco, which was close to $100. Well, there you go, guys. There is a quick rundown, or maybe not so quick. Actually, the video went a little longer than I thought it would be, but I wanted to really give you a little bit of a review of the new Hobby Boss and Trumpeter kits. Uh, very excited about those, especially with the new Zimmer inside of them. Now, tomorrow I'm expecting in another bo bunch of boxes with uh, the Ming Merkava Fords with trophy system, the uh, Wingnut Wings JU uh, Junkers J1, the monoplane from World War One, as well as a few other kits too that I'm going to try my hardest to get out another review video. It'll be much shorter because there's only like like four new kits on that uh, that pile of stuff coming in. So uh, I am going to start on that Tiger actually pretty soon. Don't know when the video is going to come out, but I am actually going to start on it right away. And we will work on. I don't remember which, which Panther I have, but I will work on that soon too. So I know I constantly get that, uh, that question, when's part two coming out? So uh, I've got a lot of work to do. So I want to thank you guys as always for watching. And please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming. 
Oh, and before I forget, I would really appreciate it if you enjoyed the video, if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.